Welcome into a new video. I would appreciate your guys' feedback if you watch this. I, you know, I don't have a lot of viewers on this channel or anything like that. I don't really care. I just kind of find it fun to post these. But I do professional videography and photography for a living, so it's kind of freeing to me to still want to create stuff. But whenever I go out shooting and making these videos, to put as little effort in as possible. So I just do very minimal editing cuts and um you know just do some simple shots and whatnot on this but uh, you know no, there's no music you know there's no graphics or anything so i'm just curious what you guys think of that i know a lot of these firearms channels it's just full everyone thinks they need a freaking title they get someone on fiverr to make like the cheapest cheesiest title opening for them and all this stuff but i just like keeping it simple um i don't really have any plans on going any any heavier with the production but even though i totally could i've got thousands of dollars worth of equipment <laughs> that i could easily uh step this up with but i just don't see the point i kind of i'm trying to make videos that i like watching myself so anyway appreciate your feedback this is going to be a pretty pretty quick one i think um i've mostly been focusing on the basics here lately going out whenever i, I shoot um just getting better and more proficient with the handgun uh, I don't think I shoot any rifle in this one. I think I shoot the Scorpion here coming up, actually. Uh, I was function testing with a suppressor with some with, with some ammo that you'll see here. But um, just setting up the targets. I always like to have a paper target just for always getting that bullseye accuracy. And, uh, I, you know, I, shooting steel is great. I love shooting steel. Instant feedback. Building those neural pathways in your mind of, you know, the feedback loop. But... I just find that shooting on paper is just always reminding you that accuracy matters, especially if you're thinking concealed carry. Uh, maybe you carry concealed for a purpose for your church's security team or something like that. So it's always an important thing to be accurate. So whenever I first show up here to the range, I usually pull right up to it and back up my truck and then I usually pull away. That pole you see there on the right is about 25 yards, so I pulled a about 20 yards away uh, this is range dynamics like 158 grain ammo and i'm going to test it with my silencer co omega 36m which is a multi-cal suppressor up to 338 lapua it's perfect for a nine millimeter and i'm putting it on the scorpion uh, this is not this is like the last gen scorpion it's still great and i was curious how loud it was going to be because uh, um i have specific reasons for animal animal reasons that uh, I was curious how loud it would be. That's all I'll say about that, but uh, I'm just curious how loud it was. So you'll see me here in a second. Take the headphones off, the hearing protection off. It's pretty dang quiet from this camera. Yeah, I, I shot it once and I was like, yeah, it's still, still too loud. <laughs> It's a little, it's okay, but it's still a little louder than I would prefer uh, for hearing safe. It's definitely louder in person than it is showing up here on the camera. Uh, so this is the the inside the waistband hol appendix holster I got from, I think it's LAS concealment for the Staccato CS. I, and I got the deep carry concealment <clears throat> metal clips for it instead of the plastic clips and a tier one concealed wedge on the back there just to help bring it into the body a little more. But, um, you know, it, it's okay. I don't really love the floppy side for the extra mag. And I was loading up my mags here and I noticed, I went to, went to put the mag inside the holster here and I noticed something weird was going on and I had a freaking bullet come out of the casing on one of the bullets. And that's federal ammo. That is factory federal ammo. So I, I was very surprised by this. I've shot Magtech, C, Blazer CCI, even cheaper stuff, New Republic. Like, but that's federal. I always thought federal is the the top. I usually never buy it, but you know, I just thought that was interesting. I, I like the uh, the hostage target there on the right. It's a pretty small target to aim at, so it's always nice to uh, aim small, miss small. <clears throat> and I've had that. Excuse me for coughing. I'm getting over a cold here. But uh, the silhouette on the left I've had for a long time. These things really hold up. Just really focusing on fundamentals. And always putting that gun on safe, off safe. A little bit extra manual of arms with this Staccato CS. 
but I feel better with it. I feel safer with it. Not that a Glock's not safe, but I just, I don't know. I feel like if someone else were to somehow get my gun, then they wouldn't know what to do with it. But I'm also a lot more accurate with this gun. I had another shot of this, but I was completely out of focus. But this will pretty much wrap it up on this one. Pretty, I kept it, kept it short. Uh, looking forward to doing some rifle in the future. Let me know what you guys are wanting. So, appreciate you watching.